Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do. It's finally October and we are going to be talking all about my favorite makeup to wear in the fall time. I'm specifically focusing on eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks and I am specifically, specifically only focusing on products that are $20 or under. We have five palettes and 10 lipsticks to go through today. And for the lipsticks, I will give you up close swatches on my hand and my lips. So let's just jump into it. But before we do, if you're new here, my name is Jamie. Thank you so much for watching today. If you hear something that sounds like a dying animal, that is my washing machine. I don't know why it sounds like that. You're brand new. Why do you sound like that? But if you have just stumbled upon my channel, Hey, what's up? How are you? I actually stopped posting for about a year and I am back, so I'm just so happy to be here. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, do you like my background? <laughs> I feel like I made it really cute. So I just, yeah, I wanted to like personalize it a little bit. We have a nice pumpkin candle burning, woo, fall. Then we have a plant that I've kept alive for longer than a month, so woo! My black thumb is uh, fading, maybe? <laughs> it's questionable. Then we have Grogu, I love him! And then the bouquet from my wedding that's dried, and then a picture of my husband and I. And then just like the stuff on the walls that was there in the last video. But this is like my work desk, but I just wanted to make it a little bit cuter for when it's the background of my videos, and it makes me happy, so. Let's get into it. Let's start with eyeshadow palettes. The first palette that I am really, really excited to break into this fall is from Profusion Cosmetics. This is the Wanderlust palette. This palette has some beautiful warm browns and greens, but then it shifts into those more vibrant jewel tones. The camera is washing out the colors a bit. I feel like if I hold it back here, it is a lot more true to color. So it's a bit more vibrant than it looked in the close-up. But this palette is one of my favorites and it doesn't get nearly enough love for me. This is just a really great palette for when you want to kind of play with a little bit of color but you don't want anything too crazy. Because although these colors are kind of bright, you can stick with the more muted tone. You can throw some of these like warmer browns in the crease go for one of these more like champagne-y gold colors or if you're feeling a little bit more bold you can dip into this little quad of purples here you can dip into the green shimmers they even have like this dark shade called enigma which is like a dark navy kind of like midnight blue color I really enjoy the profusion formula i find it very easy to work with it's pigmented but it isn't so pigmented to the point where you're not gonna be able to blend it out i feel like the the shades blend very easily I feel like the shimmers are very impressive. The mattes are also good, but I feel like the shimmers are really what I love from Profusion. Um, but like I said, the mattes are very buttery, very easy to blend. So I really think you can't go wrong. And this palette at Walmart costs $10.20. Um, I believe you can still get it on the Profusion website as well, but I saw it for $10.20 at Walmart, which I think is a steal. And I just wanted to shout out a couple of other Profusion palettes as kind of like honorable mentions. So this is the Mirage palette, which is a bit larger, whereas the Wanderlust has 21 shades. This one has 35 shades and it's definitely not as like colorful, I would say, as Wanderlust. Yes, it has those bright like pinks and oranges, but it's more like monotone whereas the wanderlust you get the green you get the purple you get the blue you kind of get it all this one is very like pinky and orangey this one does have three pressed glitters which i do not personally use but they are there if you want them this palette costs 13 dollars and 12 cents on the walmart uh on the profusion website profusion website yes and then this is the Infatuation palette, which is one of my favorites, and I'm sad because I couldn't find this on the Profusion or the Walmart website, so I'm wondering if it was discontinued, but it is the same setup as Wanderlust, so it's 21 shades, and this one is just more like peachy with a couple of fun shimmers here, the really pretty like chartreuse, and then this really pretty kind of like silvery blue, this really pretty light lilac color. 
I just wanted to shout them out because I really do enjoy the Profusion formula and I feel like they're pretty underrated. Next is a palette from another one of my favorite brands at the drugstore. This might be my favorite brand at the drugstore. Well, no, it's tied with another brand, but let me, let me tell you what it is. This is the Earth and Ocean palette by e.l.f. Cosmetics. This palette has your earthy tones <laughs> and then your ocean tones. So it's more of like those greens and bronzes and golds and then it shifts into the blues and the silvers and the more cool tones. I have made some really, really pretty looks with this palette. Some of my favorite shades are these two gold shimmers. They are, yes, they're golds, but they're kind of unique in like their undertones and the kind of shift that they give on the eyes. I love this color spruced up, this like, just like spruce green. <laughs> And I love this kind of like warm, but kind of like yellowish brown. It's a very unique shade in my collection. I do like the blues as well. I feel like I don't gravitate towards blue eyeshadow a whole lot, but I do enjoy this formula. And when I'm feeling more of like a cool tone blue look, this is a palette that I would reach for. But my favorite side is definitely the earth side. This palette costs $14 on the e.l.f. Cosmetics website, and you can also find them at Ulta or CVS. I would not recommend CVS because when I was looking at some of the, some, <laughs> what? when I was looking up some of these prices, it is disgusting how much more they cost at CVS. So I do not recommend buying makeup at CVS unless you're like an extreme couponer and you have your rewards and you have your percentage off. Definitely don't shop at CVS unless you're using a coupon. But <laughs> you can definitely find this for pretty cheap, and I think that it's a really, really good option from the drugstore. I really like Elf's eyeshadow formula. The shimmers are pretty, the mattes are really easy to work with. You really just can't go wrong with Elf. Next, I want to talk about the most inexpensive palette in this video, and it comes from Koki Cosmetics. Now, Koki is a brand that I really don't own much from, but this palette is really nice. This is their unearthed palette. It's a little nine pan palette. It is like the size of my palm. So this is the unearthed palette. It has some really beautiful, more coppery tones. And then it has like a couple of more like purpley tones down here. You can definitely see it better back here as per usual. Um, the lights don't really wash it out back here. This shade is a bit shattered. That was my bad, I dropped the palette. But the past few days, I'm not wearing it today, but I was wearing it the past two days, and I love just taking like this warm brown in the crease, um, this copper on the lid, and then this like darker warm brown in the outer V. It's a super easy look to create, and I feel like it's very fall. Like these are the colors of the leaves that are falling, and just like the warm terracotta tones. You do also get, like I said, like the purpley tones. This is more of like a like bronzy color. You also get the matte cream. I think this is a really nice palette. Um, is it anything like revolutionary? No. I feel like, do you need it? Probably not, just because if you have a larger collection, you probably have these shades. But if you're looking for a really nice fall palette on a budget, I really do recommend this one. And it really has made me want to try more from Koki. Their shimmers are very impressive. Honestly, they're... I've applied them with my finger, that's usually how I like to apply shimmers, and they're just very like metallic and foiled on the eyes, but the mattes are my favorite, I think. They are just so like soft and buttery and easy to work with, so definitely made me want to try more from Koki Cosmetics. And now I said five palettes. Technically, I've shown you one, two, three, five already, technically, but I consider those two Profusion palettes um, honorable mentions and I doubt that you're gonna care like more is more in this case like you want more options right so this is by Juvia's Place this is the original Nubian palette so they have like the Nubian 2 the Nubian 3 this is the original Nubian and this costs $20 on the dot at Ulta and on the Juvia's Place website but I recommend waiting for a sale Juvia's Place runs sales all the time on their website and Ulta will do like I don't know, buy one, get 40% off, so I would just wait for a sale. But either way, it's an inexpensive, fairly affordable palette. And it just is such a beautiful, neutral, warm-toned fall palette. 
Again, this just reminds me of fall. These are the colors that you see outside in October and November. And the Juvia's Place palette formula is kind of interesting to me. It's a bit hit or miss. I don't know, like some of their palettes really work for me and some of their palettes are either like not that pigmented or like just not easy to work with. But this, I feel, is super easy to work with. I really love the warm kind of browns and terracottas in this palette. I also love the shimmers. This like light champagne shimmer here, actually no, I'm pointing to the wrong one. This one right here, it doesn't look like much in the pan, but this is like the prettiest champagne gold. It is just so like foiled and metallic on the eye. And I feel like this is just a good like standby for the fall. I feel like you really can't go wrong with this color story in the fall time if you're looking for a more warm eye. I know we can all kind of like have our own preferences and such, but if you love warm tones, I definitely recommend this. Um, definitely check out the Nubian from Juvia's Place. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like that's just fall. Now, I'm gonna give like an honorable honorable mention. Don't hate me. <laughs> this palette is not under twenty dollars. I just wanted to mention it because it is so good. I love it so much. It's thirty-five dollars. But the Ulta like 20% off coupon, I just got it in the email, in the email. I just got my Ulta 20% off coupon in an email and I feel like this is a really good time to snag this palette if you are looking for it. The NYX Cosmetics website also runs sales from time to time so I would just keep an eye out. This is the NYX Cosmetics, NYX, not, not NYX Cosmetics, NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Utopia Palette. Now this is a big palette, and I understand that, you know, we all have our preferences, we all, you know, prefer either larger or smaller or in the middle palettes. I prefer like a mid-size to large palette just because I love having options and I love having different variety, just getting to play around, kind of experiment and create just a whole bunch of really fun looks. I don't love palettes where it's like you're going to get the same look every time, so that's just me. But I love this palette for the fall time. This pa this shade arrived to me broken. I got this off of the NYX website um, last Black Friday, I think. So I did get this on sale. And this just arrived broken. Oh my god, not this. Hello. This. This one. You're probably looking at it and you're like, oh, it looks like an eyeshadow. No, this is the empty pan right here. It was supposed to be like this dark shimmer. I don't know. But that arrived broken and i had a great experience with their customer service team they were like oh well we can send you a whole new palette or a refund and i was like well i really don't need two palettes i'll take a refund so got this for free but i really enjoy this palette now i will say i like the mattes more than i like the shimmers the shimmers leave a bit to be desired <laughs> Um, some of them are pretty, like I really like this gold shade here. I feel like that one shows up pretty intense on the eyes. I like this more green color here, but some of these are more like topper shades almost, which isn't always like what I gravitate towards. So when I'm like dipping into them and I'm expecting full opacity and it's just not there, um, it just took me a minute to kind of like understand the formulas in this palette, but the mattes, the mattes are so good. I hit pan in the shade right here, this like mid-tone kind of like warmish brown for the crease that I use all the time when I dip into this palette. I love these more like cool tones. I'll give you another close up. I love like this little cool tone quad over here. Um, I just love like the more like reddish colors and the the orangey colors and this like Mustard yellow this dark purple. I actually did a look using both of those with I think this gold on the lid And I really enjoyed that look this more like sage green. I just feel like you can do so much with this palette and I just wanted to shout it out just in case you have a coupon or you are like, you know what? I will I will spend the $35 I think it's worth it. I think this is a great palette and I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of it, definitely, especially in the fall time. Now it's time for lips. I am super excited to share these with you. These are some of my favorite colors, of course, to wear in the fall time. I know I said I had five and technically I have seven. 
to see. Um, so we're just going to go through them. Let's go most expensive to most affordable. So coming in at the most expensive, we have some um, options from Ofer Cosmetics. So I'm kind of grouping these together as one just because it's the same formula. I just have three different colors here. I have Las Olas, Ball Harbor, and Pasadena. And these are all their matte liquid lipsticks. These are some of my favorite colors to wear for fall. We have Las Olas, which is more of like your like dark kind of orange terracotta lip, which I think is stunning with like a more neutrally eye or even like bronzer in the crease and just mascara and then that lip I feel like is so pretty for the fall time. Then we have Ball Harbor, which is more of like a cool toned kind of like pinky brown, I would say. It's not completely brown, but it's not completely pink by any means. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, like if you mix those two colors together. I feel like that's a really fun one, again, to wear with like a nice like neutral eye, more cool toned eye. And then the most cool toned of the bunch is Pasadena, which is more of like your pinky mauve color, but it has a little bit of like that like grayish, not grayish, because that sounds bad, but like it's just, it's a very cool toned color. So these three I really like. I've had these for years. I've loved Ofra Cosmetics for years. Oh, and I didn't say, did I say? They're $20 each. Next up, we have one from Dose of Colors. So Dose of Colors, I feel like, is a brand that doesn't get mentioned a whole lot anymore on YouTube. And I feel like that's because they don't really come out with that much. But I really enjoy their liquid lipstick formula. There was a time when liquid lipsticks, we all know, they were all the rage. And I am the first to say that like I don't gravitate towards liquid lipsticks really at all. But the ones that I'm mentioning in this video, like the Ofra are so comfortable and they don't feel super drying on the lips, but they stay for a really long time. The same can be said for the Dose of Colors formula. So I just wanted to get that out there. This is the color Los Angeles, like Los Angeles. And this is more of like a pinky kind of reddish, I don't know it's just it's quite unique in my collection it is more of like a red but it definitely has that like fuchsia undertone to it which I think really makes it stand out in my collection and I really like I said I love the dose of colors formula it stays on for a really long time it's very comfortable very like wearable and that is $19 if I didn't say that already Next up, we have a lip gloss. So this is from Persona Cosmetics, and this is their lip gloss in the shade Toffee. Now, I love Persona Cosmetics. They're another brand where like, I feel like I haven't tried anything that I don't like from them. They have really nice blushes, really nice eyeshadows, and this gloss is so good. These glosses are really nice, and I say glosses because I have tried multiple of their glosses. They're really nice because they are a bit thicker, a bit more pigmented, and I know that a lot of people don't really love like a thicker, sticky kind of lip gloss. I wouldn't say these are like super sticky, but they have enough stick to them that they last on the lips for a pretty long time for a lip gloss. Of course, it's not gonna last through eating, drinking. It's not even gonna last all day if you're not eating and drinking, but it lasts longer than a typical lip gloss in my experience, and this is just more of like a darker, brown warm nude shade which I don't really have anything else like this in my collection cost $16 which I feel like is pretty reasonable and it'll last you a while and I just really enjoy this color so wanted to shout that out moving into the super affordable category this next lip product is from again elf cosmetics one of my favorite brands and this lipstick is between six and seven dollars depending on where you purchase it i saw a couple of different prices online but this is their lipstick in the shade bordeaux beauty it is more of like a hydrating kind of lipstick it's definitely not like a full matte but it's also not like glossy it's just kind of like that like satiny kind of finish it's very comfortable on the lips so I really do enjoy that about it but this is just like the perfect vampy color for this time of year I feel like just pairing this with like a super nude eye and just a really bold lip is just such a look in the fall such a look such a vibe I love that kind of look so definitely wanted to shout this one out and again super affordable really can't beat it and the fact that it's more of like a natural satiny kind of finish means that it's not gonna like last super long but I don't find that this like bleeds outside my lip lines or anything as long as I use a lip liner um but I really enjoy that color so wanted to shout that out 
Next up, we have one from CoverGirl. So CoverGirl is the other brand that I was saying might rival e.l.f. for being my favorite brand. The only thing about CoverGirl is like, I don't, I, I can't say I don't love, like I haven't really tried a lot of their like eye products, like eyeshadows. So I can't really like say that they are like really rivaling e.l.f., but I love CoverGirl as a brand. Just wanted to say that. This is one of their um, 24 hour matte lipsticks in the shade Soloist. I love this formula by CoverGirl. It really is such a comfortable matte color. Almost like a, a brick red is how I would describe it. Like a brick reddish terracotta color. <laughs> I'm so good at describing things. I love this lipstick so much. I have another shade. I don't know the name of it, but it's more of like a nude color and I wear it all of the time. So I just really wanted to try out another color. So I got this I think like last fall and I'm really glad that I picked this up because it has become a quick favorite and these last, like they are matte, but they're not like a drying matte. So they're not gonna feel like a liquid lipstick, but they're also going to last longer than like the e.l.f. lipstick for example, because they are matte and they dry down more than like a satin or a gloss. They're just gonna stick around longer, especially if you pair them with the lip liner. I just love it. I love a good matte bullet lipstick. I think that is my favorite kind of bullet lipstick and this definitely fits the bill. I'm really, really obsessed with it. So just wanted to let you guys know that uh, that's a good one. Oh, and that was $6.99, but not at CVS. CVS, it's $11. I got that at CVS. I am an extreme couponer though, so. Coming in at the least expensive the cheapest product in this entire video comes from Essence Cosmetics. Essence is a brand that I love. I love that they can provide affordable, good quality makeup. These are two shades from their This Is Nude. We have the shades 14 Free and 16 Lovable. So that's number 14 and that's number 16. So number 14 I would say is like a typical terracotta. And then number 16, um, Lovable, is more of, it's closer to the CoverGirl, but not quite as like red, it's more brown. It's more like a true, like deep brown shade with a lot of warmth to it. I love these lipsticks, let me tell you, for $3.99, are you kidding? They are so good, so good, so pigmented, they come in so many shades, like I just really like the formula and I love the range that they offer, but these shades in particular are perfect for fall. Like I just picture these with like a super warm eye, super warm lip, nothing on the eyes, super warm lip, like super warm blush, super warm lip with just mascara. I just feel like you can do so many different variations of looks with these shades. Honestly, all these shades. These are just like my tones in the fall. I love them so much. I do love a good cool tone in the fall and I do have a cool tone lipstick that I'm wearing today that I wanted to mention, but I don't think they make it anymore. It's also by Essence actually. It's their, um, what is this even called? The Long Lasting Lipstick Nude in Cool Nude. This is a beautiful like purpley brown, but they, I don't think they make it anymore. I couldn't find it anywhere online. If you can find that somewhere, definitely check it out. This is not matte by any means. This is more of like a hydrating lipstick, so it really doesn't last very long, but it's so comfy and so like just beautiful. I love it. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about these. I highly recommend checking out this line from Essence. Like I said, $3.99, you really cannot and probably will not beat that. You, just, you, you can't get better than that. And these are just two of my favorite shades for fall. So guys, that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed just going through all of the fall products that I'm so excited to be using this season. Let me know down below, what product are you most excited to reach for this season? Doesn't have to be one from this video, just anything from your collection. Let me know down below. And again, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to keep up with me and to see more content in the future. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.